Hello, I'm Annie Mazes from Workman Publishing, and you are back with the next episode of Bite Size Book Buzz. Today I am joined by Anna Perez from Simon & Schuster, Erica Melnichok from Penguin Random House, Lynette Kim from Harlequin, and Melissa Nicholas from Hachette. It's going to be a pretty boss roundup of women. So take it away, Anna. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Anna Perez from the Simon & Schuster Education and Library team, and I'm here to talk about what I think is the breakout book of the summer, The Only Good Indians, ooh, by Stephen <laughs> Graham Jones. Can you see it? Um, the Only Good Indians follows four American Indians, four American Indian men after a disturbing event from their youth puts them in a desperate struggle for their lives. Tracked by an entity bent on revenge, these childhood friends are helpless as the culture and traditions they left behind catch up to them in a violent, vengeful way. It's spooky, page-turning, massively eerie, and a fantastic mind-bending read. Seamlessly blending toxic horror and a dramatic narrative with sharp social commentary, this reads like They're There by Tommy Orange by way of Get Out, the movie. It's scary good. Um, it has already received two starred reviews from the library from library journal and publishers weekly it publishes in july and there are e-galleys available on edelweiss i'm not a big horror person my imagination is already wild and, in, and not controllable um and i mean life is pretty scary right now but i highly recommend you read it uh thank you for listening now to erica thank you anna hi everyone thanks for tuning in Uh, I'm Erica Melnichok from the Penguin Random House Library Marketing Department. Uh, book buzzing to you today from my home in Connecticut. Uh, we're staying busy over on penguinrandomhouselibrary.com where you can go to find out more about the digital resources we're continuously updating for you from book club brochures to excerpt samplers, podcasts, videos, book lists, and more. So prepare to be swept away an essential simmering Parisian story when you pick up the Margot Affair on June 16th. Or you can download the eGalley now from Edelweiss or NetGalley. The Margot Affair by Sinai Lemoine is a beguiling debut novel of intrigue and betrayal about the secret daughter of a French politician and a famous actress. Margot has lived her life as her parents' secret. For 17 years, her father, an influential French politician with presidential ambitions, has led a double life. His only contact with Marco and her mother conducted in hidden moments, hidden away from his wife and official duties. In their small Parisian apartment on the left bank, Margot's mother, Anouk, is a prominent actress and has fiercely guarded the closed world of secrecy she has built around them. It is a house of cards that Margot, fueled by a longing to be seen and heard, decides to tumble. That simmering summer, she meets the man who will set her plan in motion a well-regarded journalist whose trust seems surprisingly easy to gain. But as Margot is drawn into an adult world she struggles to comprehend, she learns how one impulsive decision can change the contours of her world and the lives of those around her. This is for fans of Emma Straub, Celeste Ng, and Elena Ferrante, for readers of books that explore the secrets between mothers and daughters and the complexities of relationships and female friendships. I hope you enjoy it and happy reading to you all. Take good care. And now on to Lynette. Um, that sounds good, Erica. I might reach out to you for that one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, so my name is Lynette Kim. I am a library marketer for Harlequin. And I am here to tell you about this lovely book. So this is The Woman Before Wallace. Um, it is debut historical fiction by Bryn Turnbull. This is set against the very glam backdrop of American British royalty in the 20s. Uh, the woman of the title is Lady Thelma Furness. Uh, she's an American woman who comes to own the heart of Edward, Prince of Wales. You probably know who he is, we'll come back to that later. Um, she is also the identical twin sister uh, to Gloria, who is a young widow smack dab in what we now know as the trial of the century. This was a custody battle for uh, Gloria's daughter, young daughter, also named Gloria, who would later grow up to be Gloria Vanderbilt, the denim designer and 
near and dear to my heart, the Blessed Mother of Anderson Cooper. Um, Gloria is leaning on Thelma for support during this very difficult time, um, even as Thelma too is sort of navigating scandal because she is madly in love with Edward, but she's also married to an older man um, who has been having affairs of his own, but because he's the man, um, she's kind of getting in a little bit more trouble for it, um, as you can imagine. Um, so she finds herself in this very precarious situation of kind of keeping her own life from unraveling and her sister's life at the same time, which is why she, Thelma thinks nothing of introducing Edward to her new friend, an American woman named Wallace Simpson. So that is the Wallace that Edward eventually gives up his crown for. Um, but at its heart, the story of a woman who will choose her sister over a man any day. The book's really fun. It's very glittery, um, a lot of scandal. Um, it's meticulously researched and detailed. It's very great Gatsby, very crown. Um, I highly recommend it. It's coming out in July. Um, it's on NetGalley as well, so check it out. And I am going to turn this over to Melissa. Hello, I'm Melissa from Hachette Book Group. I'm trying to stay scandal free, um, <laughs> medium success. Anyway, I'm delighted to share with you a new book by Emma Donahue, The Pull of the Stars. It's coming in July and it's um, sort of a new, uh, new announcement. So I was just delighted that Emma had something new for us. I'm going to show you the cover. All right. I'm not going to show you the cover. <clears throat> hey, you guys, my computer stopped working. I know we already recorded, so yikes. I don't, I think I lost the internet. We can still see you, though, so do you want to keep going? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so Emma is back with a new book um, that once again helps us find light in the darkness in a classic novel of hope and survival against all odds. Um, the setting finds us in Dublin in 1918 in a maternity ward at the height of the Great Flu. Um, this is a very small world of work and risk and uh, death, even unlooked for love. And we know these small worlds are what Emma does so vividly, um, as she did in Room. So we're in an Ireland that's ravaged by war and disease, and our nurse, Julia, who is, um, she works in this understaffed hospital where pregnant women, where pregnant women go to be quarantined together. Um, and then into Julia's life arrive two new, two new folks. This female doctor who may be a rebel. She may also be on the run from the police. Um, and uh, a young woman who's volunteered by the nuns volunteered, you know, to be her, their helper. Um, and so into this dark and intense world, these women change each other's lives in unexpected ways. You know, they lose patience to this baffling pandemic and they also shepherd new life into a fearful world um, with timeless tenderness and humanity. Uh, these essential workers, you know, do what seems impossible. Um, and I just, I just have goosebumps um, thinking about this relevance to our sheltering times. And I'm eager for you and your patrons to get your hands on it, your eyes, your ears, um, whatever, whatever it will take on the pull of the stars. And it's, um, a book list star review and their e galleys on Edelweiss. So thank you. Thank you for listening. Well, all of those sound amazing. The jacket for Melissa's book is beautiful, so I highly recommend looking it up so you can see it. And that is this episode of Bite Size Book Buzz. We will be back next week. We hope you are doing well and reading lots of great stuff. Thanks so much. <laughs>